Hi everyone, welcome to Heaven Healing and Tarot. This is Christina. Today's pick a card is for our singles looking for love. So let's see what's going on in your energy and what your angels and guides want to tell you about uh, finding love. If love's coming in, if we need to do some more healing or whatever we need right now. So before I get started, I always send out some healing. So take a deep breath with me. All right, today we are picking with rosebuds. Roses are, you know, a very loving romantic uh, flower. So, yeah, hence why we picked rosebuds today. <laughs> pile one yellow, pile two pink, pile three purple or lavender, and pile four blue. So pick the rose that you are most drawn to and we will see what's going on in your love life. Okay, pile one, if you chose yellow, then this one's your reading. Let's get your cards. Page of Cups, The World, The Magician, um, what is that? Ace of Swords, and The Emperor. All right. The Magician, we always, I like, that's the center of your read. So that for me is the energy that you're in. You're in the magician mood. So you're really looking for love. You really want love in your life and you've been trying to manifest it. I, I do feel like there's a new romantic cycle beginning for you here. I do feel maybe like uh, the cycle of being single, healing, trying to figure out who you are, what you want. I feel like that's coming to a close. I think you've gotten a clue now <laughs> and I do feel like somebody's going to come forward and make an offer here um, or you'll be hearing or somebody's going to reach out you might be hearing from them uh, somebody who, who definitely wants a beginning with you so it, it could be somebody totally brand new or somebody that you already um, might be acquainted with but I definitely feel like there's somebody here in your energy and this person is more of the emperor, somebody who is uh, kind of alpha, kind of strong, kind of uh, authoritative, somebody who's a leader, somebody who could be a father or a mother, but, um, you know, somebody who's just um, in, in control or in, in charge here. Somebody who just embodies that strong leader characteristics, personality. All right, well, we'll see. Let's get some more cards. But definitely feel like there's somebody here coming in. I definitely feel like you're going to be hearing from somebody soon. Um, I don't know. We have plenty of material things. So this person probably makes a decent living or really likes their toys. Um, you know, might have like uh, cars and boats and, you know, just toys, things, extra things. I don't know. Um, and Rainbow, the most difficult part of a situation is over. Uh, okay, see, I told you, I felt like there's a cycle change here with the world. So, um, that cycle of being alone and sad or needing to heal, whatever it was, I think it's, you know, mo the, for the most part, it's past you. This person's coming in. You're going to find uh, something to look forward to here. So, let's uh, get a Magic of You card. And we've got vertigo. Whatever you choose will be correct. Hmm. Vertigo. So that kind of leads me to believe that there might be a question on this person. See, you know what? To be honest with you, I wasn't 
I get in a whole lot from this person, like personality wise, you know, other than the emperor, you know, they weren't, I was looking for more. They weren't really giving me more. And this is why, because I don't know if this is your forever or not. I guess they could be, but whatever you will decide is the right choice. So you, you could take this person up on their offer or you could pass. Either way, it, it's going to be right for you. So if you choose this person, that's okay. But let me let me just get read from the book just to see if there's another meeting, because you know these are new cards, so I don't know them yet. Let's. That's what I was getting from it. And uh, it says so luxurious is the problem of choice, and yet as you consider all the dizzying array of possibilities. A sensation of tilting, of things being off kilter, paralyzes you into inaction. What can you do? What should you do? Okay. Notice the keys stand straight and true. Each one opens a door leading to opportunities and lessons. Whether or whatever you do now will be correct. But some lessons may be more enjoyable than others. In Vertigo, there is pictured one key that is very ornate and decorative. You may feel compelled to grasp it and open its door. Surely the prettiest key would open the most auspicious door. But beware, all is not what it seems. And while you cannot make a wrong decision, do not rush to make the obvious choice. The unexpected door will yield the most gratifying rewards and valuable lessons. So be brave and walk through the door less opened. All right. So this is saying, don't, cho don't choose the pretty boy <laughs> or the most beautiful girl. Sometimes beauty is superficial. You know, choose. It's saying choose the one that's, uh, choose the door that's less used. You know, because you're going to find a real gem there. You're going to find hidden treasure there. So don't don't always pick the obvious. So take a moment. I mean, if you really, really want the obvious one, then by all means. But I think they're, they're giving you a heads up. Like if you have a choice between two and the one that, you know, is more uh, quiet or you know, maybe not as beautiful on the outside, maybe even more beautiful on the inside. And that's what's going to make you happy. So, you know, again, choose wisely, but the choice is yours. And it doesn't matter what you choose, because like you said, it'll be a lesson one way or the other. <laughs> Healing from the past. So, like I said, I felt like there was a cycle of you being alone, of you healing, and uh, I, I think I was spot on with that. I think that's exactly what you are going through, and now that period is coming to an end because you're you're on the road to recovery. You're on the to road on the road of knowing who you are and what you want and how much you deserve in this life. So I think that card's just pointing that out, that you're, you're close to achieving the goals that you want. Intuition. God finds a way. Change me, divine beloved, into one who can offer all major decisions to you. Let me trust you're always guiding me in the right direction. May I always remember that if something is meant to be, out of no way, God finds a way. So, if something's meant to be, it will be. God will find a way to bring you together. So, there is no choice. There's no wrong choice here because if you, let's just, for instance, say um, you pick somebody and you pick wrong or what you perceive is wrong because they're really like, we're saying there is no right or wrong here, but you perceive that as wrong. That's not who you want to be with. Well, 
don't worry because the person you are supposed to be with, God will find a way to bring you together. If it's meant to be, if it's truly meant to be, it will be. God will find a way. That's what that card's saying. So don't be afraid to make decisions. Just do what you need to do and it'll work out in the long run. Deep diver, diving into a task. Okay. So I really think that you are not concentrating or they don't want you to concentrate on finding love. I think that they want you to concentrate on something else. There's some kind of task at hand that needs attention. Whether it be um, financial issues or maybe it's a project in your home like maybe you you need to paint your house or you know uh i don't i don't know uh clean out one of clean out the basement you know maybe there's something that you need to do and they want you to dive into that project they don't want you to focus on love right now it's coming but they're saying if you focus on it, you're going to try and control it and it might not happen the way that they want it to happen. So they want you to put your focus somewhere else. So focus on finding a job, focus on, you know, repairing something that needs to be repaired or I don't know, even if it's just focusing on self, self love, you know, start doing some things for you. Whatever, get start getting your house in order. Whatever, it's spring. It's spring is not here yet, but it's close. Maybe some spring cleaning needs to be done. Focus on your task. All right, don't focus on love. Love is coming in. I thought I had one that flipped. I'm just trying to find it here. Here it is. Snow Leopard. Self-reliance. You are strongly independent and often solitary. Integrity is important for your best outcome. Cloak yourself with invisibility and walk with the shamans. Use your intuition and let your life unfold in silent perfection so again it's like it's okay to be independent it's okay to be alone just walk quietly through life don't make a spectacle of yourself right and uh observe and allow god in the universe to to work its magic so i'm not saying don't go out spend time out with friends and being um open to receive you could still do that but don't go uh chasing love you know if if you're out and you meet somebody and you talk to somebody and if there's a spark that's one thing but don't go out with the intention i'm going to go to this particular spot because i want to see who i can find and i'm going to you know set my intention on finding somebody they don't want you to do that right now for some reason they're telling you to hold off they want you to just focus on you and this is going to come in so i don't think that there's anything you can do to bring this person in the person that you're meant to be with next i i think that the angels are handling it so let them Self-indulgence, focus on self, self-worth, time to heal, shadow work, self-appreciation. So, okay, so they're saying just focus on you and what needs to be done in your life. If there's still more healing that needs to be done, then you got to do that. All right. So that just tells me that your person's close, but they're not coming in tomorrow. They're coming in soon, but they're not coming in tomorrow. Um... 
unless, you know, unless something changes here, which it could very well, um, they're going to come in when they're meant to. So maybe your person's going, has some stuff to do first too, but it feels like they're, they're, I, they're in control here. So, um, just be, do what you got to do, take care of yourself, make sure you're healing so you're in the right vibration for your person and allow spirit to handle this one. Here we go. Expectations. Don't seek anyone's approval. All right. You don't need to, you don't need anyone else's approval. You're amazing. You know who you are. You know that you're a beautiful soul. You know that you're a good person. So you don't need to put yourself out there in a way that's unhealthy. Because people are going to see you for you. And if they don't, then who cares? Just, you know, don't seek anyone's approval right now. All right, so let's pull you some charms. Cupid's here. So your love's coming in. Oh, look, the locket still never got off his leg. Let me see if I can yank this locket off. There we go. <laughs> All right. So Cupid's here. So love is close. It's close. But they really don't want you to focus on it. You know, uh, just wait. Somebody's going to come in and open that locket of yours, that heart locket. They're going to open your heart. And uh, it'll be fun and exciting when it comes in. You'll have a reason to celebrate. Right? It'll be sweet with the candy and you're going to get some sugar. <laughs> um, and uh, the sewing machine. So uh, again, that's about healing for me. Sewing things up, fixing something. So I feel like he's, there's a wound that still needs to be sewn up. So work on that, whatever that heal, that wound is. Figure it out what it is and let's start working on it, focusing on that. And then the, the love's going to come in and with Cupid, Cupid sometimes for me represents something you're not expecting. So let it be a surprise. Let it be a surprise. Let, let Cupid shoot its arrows when he's ready. All right. All right, that is what I have for you, Pile One. Give the video a like, subscribe to the channel, and leave me a comment. All of those things help me, and I appreciate you for it. Till next time, love and light. Hi, Pile Two. If you chose this pink rosebud, it kind of resembles a, uh, a rosebud that's been drying. <laughs> but anyway, um, you got the pink one. Here we go. Justice. The Wheel. Three of Swords. Five of Swords. Four of Cups. All right, pile two. You're still healing at your heartache. You're still getting over somebody. You're not quite over them yet. You might think you are, but you're not. <laughs> You're not quite over them yet, but because um, everybody that's been coming in since you haven't been happy with, you're like, yeah, nah, don't measure up. Yeah, nah, I still want my ex. Yeah, no, nah, they're okay, but they're not great. Uh, you're just not satisfied with what's coming in. All right. Um, what I want to tell you is don't worry about it. Justice is coming. So, and luck is on your side. So things are about to work out for you in some way. We'll have to get some cards to see what way, but uh, I think things are really going to start working out for you. So I'm excited to see what's coming in. Let's 
Let's get a few more. Okay, well, that was pretty quick. We've got the owl. Good advice from a wise person. But well, hello, that's why you're here to get good advice <laughs> from a wise person. No, I'm just kidding. Um, but you know, somebody's going to give you some good advice, maybe, maybe over healing that broken heart or, or, you know, maybe find ways to find somebody new. I don't know. You're just going to get some really good advice, which is always welcomed. And then you're going to have guaranteed success. All right. But how? We don't know yet yet. We don't know how you're going to have guaranteed success or what kind of success success in finding somebody new success in being with your person i don't know we'll see let's get a few more cards here all right we have fur gun become a loving mirror now, I just had this yesterday when I read, but I got to read from the book again still because I, I still haven't learned this this book yet, this uh, this deck yet. So, for gun. I know being a mirror is about re reflecting, but let's, let's just see. The simple unselfish joy that comes from knowing something good has happened to someone else fulfills and heals the angry, self-pitying soul. It's time for emotional unification and appreciation for self and others. When we delight in the well-being and success of others, we mirror these thoughts, as has been demonstrated and proven in a science of quantum physics. We become a part of what we identify and acknowledge. Unconditional appreciation for others' happiness is liberation. It touches our soul and reverberates through our experience of life like the delicate ripples across a man's heart. It is time to be brave and put your fear and resentment, jealousy and anger aside and delight in the joy of others. Trust and know that by this simple contemplation and observation, your own heart is healed and restored and your life will reflect the joy and success you see around you perfectly and uniquely. So if you're happy for others, then you're going to have things to be happy about in your life as well. So if we resent others, then we're going to have more things to resent in our own life. So when other people are succeeding and getting ahead, we have to be there to cheer them on and support them and, and raise them up and say, good for you. I'm so happy for you and really truly mean it. Because when you're in that type of energy, that's when really good stuff comes to you. So, like I said, I'll, I'll give you an example. So, uh, a close, someone close to me was having trouble with fertility. Couldn't get pregnant. Just couldn't do it. But she was of an age where all her friends around her were all getting pregnant. And she would be invited to baby shower after baby shower. And she was happy for them. She was truly, truly happy for them. But she was sad for herself. And every time she would get a little bit of, get a little more anxious and a little more upset because she was going to another baby shower and it, had, it hadn't happened for her. So I told her, I said, look, you can't, you have to sit in the feeling of truly being happy for them. You can't resent them for, for getting pregnant. And when you're not, it's, you know, it's what's meant to be for them. So we really, truly have to be grateful that they're getting something you truly, truly want. And when she finally switched her thinking, and she was happy at first, but, you know, as time went on, it just got harder and harder for her to be happy for other people. But when she switched back to, I'm truly happy for this person, and if it never happens to me, I'm okay with that because look at all these babies around me that I can be a part of their lives, you know, and I can help raise and be supportive of them in an ant situation 
you know, and uh, once she switched her thinking, she got pregnant right away. She got pregnant right away. It was all about divine timing. It was all about attracting it to her. You know, she was kind of blocking it by being upset that it didn't happen yet. So this is a, that type of same type of energy you have to be in. You have to sit in happiness for other people. So if somebody else is getting ahead in business or making more money than you, you just have to be grateful that you're their friend. You know, that they're, they're have, you know, their dreams are coming true. Yours will too when it's time. If you're genuinely happy. So, but if you're holding on to resentment, you're, you're blocking yourself. You're just doing harm to you. So it's, you know, always side on the error of kindness. Always, always be kind. Always be happy. It's hard. I get it. It's hard. But it really does work. It does. It works. Here we go. Realizations and epiphanies. Well, there you go. I just gave you a, a realization and epiphany. Just make it click in your head. Make it click. All right? And once it does, you'll win the game. You just, it's, life is a game. It is. It's terrible. <laughs> but it is. And you can win it. You can win it. But you, you got to be full of love and happiness and joy. And, and that's hard as a human. We have other emotions. <laughs> so I get it. But all right, here we go. Nurturing. I am a spark of divinity. Change me, divine beloved, into one who accepts my body exactly as it is. Seeing it as a vessel for your love. Fill me with gratitude for this physical form and let me nurture and care for myself in every way. So this is being happy with your vessel here, this temporary body of yours, being happy with it no matter what it looks like. Don't be beating yourself up over having extra weight or, you know, not being pretty enough or, you know, having a, a ears that stick out. <laughs> I don't know. Love yourself for who you are, okay? And take care of yourself. You're only here temporarily. So, you know, make the best of it. I know. I need to take my own advice. <laughs> I'm trying. Here we go. And we got the Sky Bridge. Possibilities for Union. All right, well, someone someone wants to love you. Somebody's going to come in. Somebody's close. The possibilities are here. So it just depends if you're going to be open to it and not reject every single offer that comes to you because they're not your ex. Hmm. Let's see. Puffin, partnership. Oh, somebody's coming in. Somebody's really here. Somebody's here. Accept yourself and your colorful personality. Feel confident about being you. So if this breakup, like especially if this person said things to you that really like made you have some self-doubt, like say they called you fat, you know, um, they were just being mean so get over it you're beautiful and if you don't like something about yourself then work on it okay work on it and fix it but accept who you are because you're more than just a body all right you are a joy bringer let your community nourish and protect you ask for help teamwork will give you the best results Okay, so um, if you are looking for love, maybe uh, you need to do something with a partner or a friend. If you don't want to do it by yourself, like say you want to go to a new place, but you don't want to go by yourself because you, you'll feel awkward. So find somebody, ask for help, ask your friend, 
could you, you know, go to this new place? Because I have a feeling I could meet somebody there. Whatever. But I do feel like somebody's around the corner for you. I do feel like love is here. <laughs> love, unconditional love, self-love, passion, affection, attraction. Told you love is here. They're saying, yep, you're right. Love is here for you. Somebody's loving you. Let's see if we can bring them in. Right? Don't block yourself from it. Princess, you can be your own knight. There you go. You don't need to depend on anybody for your happiness. You can be your own knight in shining armor. You can take care of yourself. You can save yourself. Okay? You can do this. It's okay to ask for help when you need it, but it's not okay to be codependent on somebody. So break free from any codependent tendencies. Let me pull you some charms. The change is coming. Change is coming. You have soulmate here. So there is soulmate energy. Somebody's coming in. It's going to be as your, one of your soulmates. It's going to be a surprise. It's going to take you as a surprise. But you're definitely going to see things clearly with it. All right. That's good. And you're going to be a star. You're going to be the star. You're going to shine bright because you're going to be happy and uh, feeling good. Right? Uh, baby steps. So take, be gentle with yourself. Take baby steps for doing what's right for you. Uh, we have, we do have the cross. So there might be some kind of crossroads that you're at at some point. It could be now you're at a crossroads now, not knowing what to do because you haven't been satisfied with what's coming in. So uh, you'll get over it. You're going to choose a path soon. You're guaranteed success with that star energy, so everything's going to work out for you. And love is already in your energy here, so somebody's here, so they're they're close. All right, that's what I got for you, Pile 2. Give the video a like, subscribe to the channel, and leave me a comment. All of those things help me greatly, and I appreciate you for it. Till next time, love and light. Hi, Pile 3. If you chose this Lavender Bud, then this one is your reading. Let's get your cards. Page of Swords. Knight of Swords. Six of Swords. Queen of Pentacles. Ace of Pentacles. Things are changing for you, Pile 3. I don't know. I, I think you're very used to being independent and being on your own. And I do feel like somebody's coming in. I really do. I feel like um, a new partner's coming. And you really don't have to do a whole lot to bring them in. I think they're on their way to you. I think the universe is sending this person to you. Um, I think you're coming out of being single. Uh, I think you've been single for a while. I don't think that you've jumped into a new relationship recently. Or, you know, I don't think you're one that, that just jumps from jumps from person to person. I think you take your time. I think you um, make sure you know what you want and you're not going to accept less. So you, uh, yeah, good for you. you I, but I do feel like you've been single for a while. I feel like with the queen here, you've reached a, a, a level of desirability now. And you deserve a partner who can match you. And with the ace, I just feel like a new great love is right around the corner. You could know this person through work or school or something like that, but through some kind of business. But... 
Um, I do feel like love is in the air for you. I do feel like somebody's here. And I don't, I feel like they're just going to present themselves to you. Um, I don't feel like you have to go chasing it or anything. You don't have to do anything special. I just feel like they're going to show up. So let's get a few more. I like when you don't have to do anything. I like when they just show up. I wish <laughs> that would happen for me here. Uh, all right. Here we go. Waiting for news, package or letter, bird perched. I think that's you. You're just waiting for your person to show up. <laughs> I think that I think that's you. That's funny. You're waiting to hear from somebody. Temporary problems. All right. So, like, it's, again, you being single is temporary. It's not going to last forever. Somebody's here. Somebody's coming in. So, uh, <laughs> get ready. Here we go. Let's find, enjoy your downtime. Because <laughs> I have a feeling things are going to pick up. All right, let's see what we got here. We have Maximus. How can you feed others when your own table is empty? Oh, pile three, you're feeling unloved. You're feeling unworthy and not good enough. Okay, that we need to change. That's why you're not doing anything for looking for love because you don't feel like you deserve it or you don't feel like anybody's going to like you. You don't feel like you're attractive enough or, oh, you're, you're being hard on yourself. Let's see what the book says. Oh, I hate that. I hate that you're doing that to yourself. You are maxed out and yet, conversely, more is needed. More nourishment for yourself. You are spread too thin and your life force is draining. How can you feed others when your own table is empty? A new idea is waiting to be cultivated. Or perhaps it's time to stop sitting on an idea you've had for some time. I'm kind of feeling that more. The months are starting to gather. Oh, the moths are starting to gather. And as lovely as they are, they will slowly blot out your light. It's time to feed yourself in order to cultivate and harvest your next crop. Stop focusing on everyone else and the role you play in their lives. Till your own soil. Serve yourself the fruits of your own labor. The table is set with fine silver on a blood red cloth. In fact, the blood is pooling and indicating that your life force is draining. Capture it now and fill your cup. What is the purpose of these fine things if they are not used? So, yeah, be good to you. All right. And you know what? Here's another Christina tip. Don't save anything for a special occasion. Everything, every day is a special occasion. So treat every day like it's a holiday. Something special. Something to celebrate you with. Celebrate that you're here and you're alive and you're happy and you get to learn things. Celebrate the fact that you're mad or angry because you get to feel things. Every day is a special day. So that was my Christina tip for the day. <laughs> I get them sometimes. I should make them into shorts because I, you know, YouTube keeps pushing these shorts and I don't know how to do them. <laughs> I haven't even, I have a TikTok account, but I don't really post because I don't know how to make the videos, you know. My daughter used to do it, but... She, she's gotten so busy in her own life between her career and her going back to school. She's, you know, in graduate school. Motivation. That's what you need. You need some motivation. You need some motivation to take care of yourself, to feel alive again, to feel loved. You, it feels like you must have been in a depression here. Well, I feel like you're coming out of it. I do. So I feel like this is going to help you a little bit here. Because if you're not coming out of it, this is the push that you need. I'm giving it to you. Start climbing out of the hole. All right? Because 
you know, where I'm at, spring is in the air. It's getting close. And it's a time of rebirth and renewal and growth, expansion. Breathe that in. Breathe that energy in and start feeling better. I need you to do that for me. Okay? Nobody needs to sit in depression forever. It's terrible. Here we go. Now. Okay, now, allow me, Divine Beloved, to rest in that holy space between what is and what will be. Let me fully embrace and relax and bless the now. All right, so the now is not the past and it's not the future. It's now. It's the present. We need to embrace it. Where are we? What are we doing? How can we be happy right now? Let's not worry about what happened already. And let's not wait for something to come in. Let's be happy now. Okay. What else we got here? Ah, oh, root girl. The disowned self. Oh, I don't like this card either. This is card of feeling unloved. This is a card of being hard on yourself because you think something's wrong with you. That nobody loves you because you're ugly or nobody loves you because you're blunt. Nobody loves you because you have blonde hair. I, I, I don't know. But it's, it's you having these self-doubts and feeling unloved. This card makes me so sad. This makes me so sad. Um, Pile 3, I want you to know that you are a beautiful soul. Okay? And you are loved more than you know. And that there is nothing wrong with you. And you need to focus on that. You need to focus that you are beautiful just the way that you are. Flaws and all. You know? I don't know. Maybe you behaved incorrectly. And you just have beaten yourself up on it you you crawled into a hole you and and you're hiding it's time to put an end to that all right we all make mistakes none of us are perfect so embrace your flaws embrace who you are and know that you you know just feeling the way that you feel that you're going to improve you're not going to you're not going to be that person anymore you're going to be better. You're going to be something a little bit better. So let's, uh, let's start shining instead of hiding. Dragonfly magic. I embrace my transformation. Okay, you're changing. I, courage, I courageously let go of the past. Yeah. Whatever didn't work out in the past, we're letting it go. The magic of nature is in me. Yes, it is. You can become beautiful. I am brilliant and I am blessed. Yes, you are. You're alive, aren't you? So, there you go. You're going to start really feeling blessed to be alive. Blessed to have a chance. To, to learn and grow and to find love and to be loved. Lighting. Lightning. Sudden change. Shocking news. Surprise. Upheaval. Transformation. There's a change coming for you. There's a change and it feels like it's for the better. So that's really, really good news for you. Because we're done being depressed. We're done being single. We're, we're moving on from that. Oh, card. There we go. Spaceship. Don't be afraid to sing. All right. So it, for me, this card just means like, don't be afraid to be who you are. Embrace who you are. Embrace your weirdness. Embrace your uniqueness. Let your freak flag fly. It's okay. It's okay. 
You're loved by God and the angels. You're loved by a spirit. And I'm sure you will be loved here by other humans as well. So just be you. Embrace it. Don't hide it. And, and find a way to shine. Find a way to own who you are and, and love who you are. Let me pull you some charms. You've got the big heart there. So love is in the air for you. And you got chocolate. So something sweet's coming in. You could meet this person at a party. Or maybe you just need to go out and celebrate you. And then there's that snowflake. You're unique. You're different. It's okay. Embrace it. Love it. Love it. Love your uniqueness. All right. That's what I got for you. Pile 3. Give the video a like. Subscribe to the channel. And leave me a comment. All of those things help me. And I appreciate you for it. Till next time. Love and light. Hi, Pile 4, if you chose blue, then this one is your reading. Let's get your cards. Page of Pentacles, the Devil, Ace of Wands, Page of Wands, Six of Cups, oh boy, somebody from the past. <laughs> All right, don't, don't be mad at me. I don't pick the cards. They come out. They come out for a reason. Um, I think somebody's coming in who is going to get your attention. You're going to want to know more. They're going to pique your interest. You're going to be like, mm, very interested, very interested. I think uh, recently you've probably been having unfulfilling sex. So I don't know if that's you're unfulfilled with the partner you're, you're with or you're just uh, out there playing around and having fun, but it's not really all that it's cracked up to be. I don't know. Pile four, I don't know. Wouldn't recommend doing that. That's not safe. <laughs> Anyway, I think with the Ace of Wands, it, I think you are confident, charming, and fun. And I think that that's what you want to attract. Somebody who's just as confident, somebody who's just as charming and fun. And uh, I, I, I think this person's close. I think you're, you're about to get Life is about to get more exciting and more passionate. So, uh, okay. Um, put yourself out there with the page. The page just tells me to put yourself out there. Show people how passionate you are or be vulnerable. Take, take a little, take a risk, not the harmful kind of risks, but I'm talking about like, take it, take a risk, like, Reaching out to somebody you're interested in, somebody who piques your interest. Could it be somebody from your past? Doesn't have to be an ex. Doesn't have to be an ex. Whenever that card comes up, it does not mean it has to be an ex. It could be just somebody you know. Maybe somebody you used to know has popped up on Facebook and you're like, oh, or YouTube or, you know, social media shouldn't name names, but, um, you know, maybe they popped up on your feed and you're like, oh, they've piqued my interest. I want to know more about them. So take that risk. Reach out to them. Slide into the DMs. <laughs> hey, good to see you. Haven't, haven't talked to you in a while. What's going on in your life? Let's catch up. Some dumb. It's okay. It's, a t it's okay to ask a dumb question, or it's it's. I think you need to take a risk here. 
Hmm. All right. Let's see what else comes out. Carriage. A journey either physical or mental. Okay, so there's some travel coming up. It's casket. Someone's going out of your life or at the end of a situation. All right, so what's coming to an end? It makes sense. There's an ace here, right? So that's a new beginning. So it makes sense that something's coming to an end. It is, I feel it feels kind of like a breakup. And that could be the journey. You know, your journey's coming to an end. You went on that journey. Maybe you need to go on a new journey now. It makes sense. It makes sense. But, you know, take that for how that resonates for you. Let's get a magic card here. Lavaria. Let love grow. Mm. I uh, think I uh, definitely think you're gonna fall for somebody. I feel like you're gonna fall some for somebody hard. Somebody who, who, yeah, I don't know. As soon as you see them, they're gonna be. You're gonna be like, oh, I feel something for that one. And you're gonna end up falling for them. Let me see, number fourteen. Laveria appears when a healthy expression of love has turned into obsession with love or more specifically, an idea that is not love. Hmm. I didn't like that. The skeletons of your expectations are limiting your experience of love. Release your attachment to what was and let a new concept of love evolve in your heart and mind. Okay, okay, that makes sense. So we're letting go of the past. It's it Maybe that love turns sour, some of you are with. Maybe it's time to get out of that. All right. And allow this new love to come in. The embrace appears tender between the lovers, but they are bound by vines and that trap each to each other and is in a fixed expression that cannot grow. Now is the time to remember your lover is only human, as evident by the skull, which is human. Your lover is not a god, and so do not worship them. Enjoy them. Love is beautiful in it, all of its expressions, but the extremes of passion and infatuation are not sustainable. It's time to find balance in love. All right, so don't, it's okay to be infatuated with your person, but don't be obsessed with your new person. I felt like you were going to feel all deeply, right? Laveria is the soulmate card when drawn with the witch card. Well, we didn't get the witch card, but... If you are wondering if the object of your desire is best reflection of you, the witch says it is. Oh, well, well why are we reading that? <laughs> so it's a soulmate card. So you're, a soulmate's coming in for you. A definitely a soulmate's coming in for you. You just have to be careful that you don't get obsessed with them, you know? It's okay for you to love deeply, but we don't want it to turn into obsession. I, I was kind of feeling like you were, you're highly intrigued by this person. And there's that devil, that obsession. I got to break free from that. Hmm. So somebody's coming in that's going to, you're going to be like, wow, I need to be with that person. I just need to be with them. Go ahead. Go be with them. Just be careful. Courage. Unless you gotta let somebody go, you know, unless you unless you became obsessed with the person you were with and you know it's time to let them go. You know, we're not always meant to be with our soulmates. So, and maybe this is saying you need the courage to let them go. So you can make room for a new beginning coming in. But I, I just feel like there's new love here. I really do. 
and I don't feel it being bad. So, I don't know. I don't know, I kind of feel like this is talking about your ex, but then again, I kind of feel like it's talking about a new person. It's so strange. It, I feel like it's talking about your ex in a bad way, and I feel like it's talking about your new person in a good way. I really wish they would just give me one story, but then one story wouldn't necessarily re fit all my viewers, so it does make sense that there's more than one story here. But, you know, I'm a Virgo. I like things nice and clean, <laughs> clean cut, and, you know, clear. I don't like things that are unclear. But anyway, you need courage. So either you need courage to break free from somebody or you need courage to approach somebody. Either one, find your courage. Balance. My needs will be met. Change me, Divine Beloved, into one who can fully offer my schedule to you so my life can be in balance. Let me take rest whenever necessary, trusting that one way or another all needs will be met. So uh, all work and no play is not good, and vice versa is not good either. Everything in moderation and everything in balance. So, uh, you know, if you're getting obsessed with something, then you know you're off balance. We gotta fix that. Stay in balance. Crown games. Right use of power. This is um, this is all about power struggle. You know we have power struggles every day sometimes about um, how can I how can I do better than my person the my partner no my neighbor how can I do better than my neighbor how can I have more how can I hold on to what I already have how can I I don't know there's power struggles in every day every day so this is about a power struggle that you're going through So, I, uh, I let go of the ego, let go of the power, who cares? Is it really worth it? Is it really worth your sanity, this power struggle that you're in? I kind of feel like you're breaking up with somebody. I really do. I kind of feel like you're breaking up with somebody and somebody new is here for you. Somebody new is definitely coming in. But I feel like you're in this power struggle, like you cannot let go of this person because you're fighting over the dumbest things. Are you fighting over material wealth? Gotta let that go. Money, money comes and goes. It'll come again. Let it go. It's not worth it. So if you're in a power struggle right now, just try and do your best to conquer it. Get over it. Let it go. Whatever you gotta do. Unicorn, infinite possibilities. You are the sovereign of the seen and unseen worlds. The magic of love surrounds you. Beauty transforms you. Listen to the spirit of light. Abandon the darkness. Go beyond the ordinary and become the legendary. So be magic. Be magic. Uh, let, you know, go towards the light. Choose kindness. You know, and let go of the shadows. Let go of that power struggle, that ego, that needing to be right, that needing to uh, get ahead, holding on to what you have. Let it all go. Let it all go. It's not important. What's important is focusing on the new love that's coming in because someone is leaving your life to make room for somebody new. And I just feel like this somebody new is light and beautiful and meant for you. I feel like the past person, 
They got devil energy attached to them. We need to let that go. Mask. Not showing true feelings. Hide. Personality. Pretend. Gaslighting. Take off your mask. Pile four. Take off your mask and show the world the real you because you know what? Your person's going to fall for you no matter who you are. They're going to love you for you. The right person is there for you and they will love you for you. So you don't have to pretend to be something you're not. You don't have to pretend to have money when you don't. You don't, you know, just be you. Homeward bound. Take yourself out on a date. All right, so just give up the fight give up the struggle for a little bit and just take care of yourself do something good for you you got to get back in the right mindset so that your beautiful new love comes in because they're here they're in your energy already it's going to be a passionate new beginning for you so you're going to be highly attracted to them it's going to feel magical it's going to feel beautiful so let's uh, release the X and focus what this new prospect is, whether they're somebody from your past or not, because I feel like they could be. I feel like they could be some, from somebody from your past, not necessarily sourly an X, an X, just somebody you used to know. Anyway, let's get you some charms. coming true everybody was getting these two charms chocolate and party so everybody's gonna have a reason to celebrate maybe you're all going to the same party can you invite me because I, I could use a celebration <laughs> I don't know but I, I think uh, a couple different piles got those charms but anyway um, something good's coming in and you have some soulmate energy here just Put on your crown. Be the leader that you are. Stop the power struggle. Okay, put an end to it. Find out a way to conquer it because it's just not it's just not serving you well. Alright. That's all I got for you, Pile 4. Give the video a like, subscribe to the channel, and leave me a comment. Because all of those things help me and I appreciate you for it. Till next time. Love and light.